Selenium with Java. They are asking Selenium with Java. They are asking Selenium with Java. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Dashing Academy. And in this video, we are going to discuss about which coding language to choose as a beginner. If you are moving towards the automation, if you are someone who is a fresher, who want to move towards the automation, if you are someone who is a manual tester, working tired, you want to move to automation, right? Which programming language you should choose right now in 2023? We are going to discuss with very, very important data. All right, let's get started. So first of all, uh, for a fresher point of view, right? First of all, let me tell you a very important point, a story, which is how I have started. Okay, to be honest. So when I was a fresher, right, in 2012-ish or 13-ish, right, I don't remember exactly one, but around that. So when I was started, I started, right, I had an idea about there are three programming languages which are necessary, which are Python, Java, and JavaScript, right? These are three. Still now, I think these are important if you want to basically choose a programming language which are basically if you want to move towards DevOps, if you want to move towards the development, if you want to move towards the uh, software testing world, right? Then which one we should choose? So I have started my career with Python because the number one reason why I have chosen the Python was I was learning the Python. It was first of all easy. You have to write a less code. I have written a lots of blog on APM Python at the time. So the first project that I got for automation, right? It was a APM with Python because we have to write a less code for mobile automation. That's the important thing. That's how I have started learning the Python in this case. Okay. This was my journey. And after that, I got to know about this, right? Now, very major breakthrough. Pay attention, pay attention right now. Very major breakthrough happens after one and a half year. I got to know that major opportunity wherever I am applying as a software tester, right? People are asking Selenium with Java. They are asking Selenium with Java. They are asking Selenium with Java. Out of 10 jobs, seven were almost like Selenium with Java. Most of them people are basically working on Java. And I got to know that, okay, why? What is the reason for this, right? Why? Why still, especially in the field of software testing, right? I have seen people are preferring Java. What is the reason for this? The reason was very simple because the automation tool that was Selenium was there, right? It was created in Selenium. It was created around Java. There was more documentation available. Uh, Java is more stable, more enterprise in nature, more features in this case, right? I'm not comparing with Python and JavaScript in this case, but I'm just telling you, right? It is more enterprise and people have already put it. Most of the services company have stripped or used Java extensively most of the time, right? So there was more documentation right so that was a big breakthrough for me right then i immediately learned about java at the time right so after one and a half year or somewhere i started learning java and after that uh for uh, after that i have learned java for almost like one and a half year i joined a company the next company that i have joined where the project was in javascript and i was like what so i have to learn javascript now see the syntax changes only the logics remain same right in every most of the programming language. then i worked for like two or three years in javascript and i worked very well i learned about the promises callbacks multiple things in javascript and it was an amazing journey then again i joined a new company where of course the language was selenium with java right so my point here is that which programming language you will prefer as a fresher now the question is still remains same, right so my point is that See, if you are learning, if you are going to implement something C, C++, this programming language doesn't make sense because nobody uses, most of the times you are going to join a company where they will be working in web-based projects, right? Or a SaaS project. So you will be revolving around JavaScript, Python or Java most of the time, or maybe C Sharp. But again, in C Sharp, I have seen what my friends are also facing problem is now they have to switch to only a company where C Sharp is projects are available. So there is a trade-off in that case, right? So again, that, that's the point. So of course, Python is more popular. It is uh, good for beginner. This is what I have learned. Uh, easy syntax, great language. You can get uh, amazing, amazing projects can be done. You can do automation also. You can do automation in mobile. You can do automation in the uh, web automation, Selenium also. You can do it very well. You can basically use it, right? No problem in that case. Again, if you're going with JavaScript also, again, I would suggest pretty, pretty easy. Uh, JavaScript, trust me, it is, uh, I would say, medium level. You can still learn it, right? For a fresher, especially. If you're more inclined towards software development role, then definitely choose Java uh, script in this case, because here you will say, uh, you will have more web related project that you will see, right? If you are more into DevOps, then you can search, uh, you can go towards the Python. If you're more into software testing world, I only recommend most of my students, even if you are a fresher, right? I recommend directly to go towards Java. The reason is very simple, guys. I have almost 11 years experience. I'm talking about experience. If you search 100 job right now, even on LinkedIn, you will find almost like 70, 75% of companies still hiring Selenium with Java and the projects with Java only. The reason is very simple because they have legacy system. They have 
system which are basically made which are right now working for them they have 3000 4000 test cases which are created in java they don't uh, want to introduce a new framework in other language for example python something but nowadays i have seen whenever there is an there are new projects then people prefer to use python right this is what i have seen but again i have seen those people struggle after sometimes due to some of the issues i mean i cannot give you the exact answer what is the reason for it but sometimes i have seen uh, because java documentation in selenium and other other tools which are basically present especially in software testing right the documentation is very vast peep whatever that you are going to face Uh, let me tell you right if uh, whatever the challenges that you are going to face most of them are solved in the java test the point so in the conclusion i what i would suggest is choosing a programming language can be daunting experience right i know it is not easy i have worked with python javascript and java so you know that this is the uh, thing that i have worked on three programming language throughout my 11 years experience right so majority i have worked with java in this case so start eliminating the language based on uh, that are not suitable for beginners so python javascript and java these are three languages i would recommend for any fresher to start out start with python then learn java and then javascript and choose whichever you are comfortable in your next company this is the thing that you are basically going to do if you are a developer tester devops doesn't matter right trust me if this is the way how you have to do it right if you are not if you are totally beginner go with start with python you will understand the concepts then you can leverage those concepts concepts or logics into the java language also only the syntax changes concepts remain same in most of the languages okay i hope this video helps thanks a lot for watching till now if you are existing subscriber thanks a lot for joining if you are new one consider subscribing i create videos around software testing automation projects and productivity I hope this video helps. Let me know which programming language you have chosen in comment down below which programming language you want to learn. I'm I will be creating a master class in that. Okay? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.